Are you experiencing error code 4400 on Amazon no longer to sell your products through merchant fulfilled shipping? Well, there's a solution for this and we're here to help you with it. So my name is Noah from My Amazon Guy and I am here to show you exactly what to do if you consistently are having the error code 4400 for any of your ASINs and can no longer ship via merchant fulfilled. So we'll head on over to Amazon. First and foremost, if you are getting this error code 4400, you can see that the error message, your seller account is not approved to offer seller fulfilled products in this category at this time. So what does this mean and when does it actually occur? Amazon gives a decent explanation to it of essentially you're not authorized for anything other than AFN, which is aka FBA. So Amazon Fulfillment Network or FBA fulfilled by Amazon. Uh, you're trying to sell it and it'll be unbuyable if you try and do MFN or Merchant Fulfilled Network and you have chosen this and are trying to ignore it live for sale. So steps to resolve. Amazon gives a few steps to resolve here and their first one being essentially, hey, if you're having this issue, go ahead and list your product for sale under FBA and convert your product over to FBA. Cool. Second one is a little bit more information of if you think that you're supposed to be able to sell through MFN, uh, you have a policy notification under for your ASIN under performance notifications, check it and get the policy violation removed via going to seller support. The next one being under account health, if you see your seller fulfilled being deactivated, then you have to click reactivate and submit a plan of action or appeal the decision to restore selling privileges. So First and foremost, let's talk about why this might happen. So typically speaking, if someone has the, their MFN removed, it's for a couple of reasons. It means that typically you have had customer service performance and shipping performance either for your account or for specific ASINs consistently delinquent. So for specific ASINs, it's usually under things such as negative feedback, some form of order defect. So you can see order defect rate has to stay under 1% and that is calculated on a 60 day basis. So if you are consistently above uh, 1% and you're constantly having some form uh, of issue over here, this is typically why. Uh, again, for specific ASINs, it might be something related over to your actual policy, policy violation. So you'll see listing policy violations right here. If you consistently have listing policy violations for one ASIN, Amazon's going to start requiring you to send it to FBA if it has to do with, you know, what the product is actually looking like, et cetera, et cetera, and how it comes to the actual end consumer. And they will determine uh, how to send it off to the end consumer. Now, more often than not, this is from an account whole basis and not just a category and not just a product basis and is due to shipping performance. So you can see we have four different metrics here, late shipment rate, pre-fulfillment cancel rate, valid tracking rate, and on-time delivery. If you are consistently delinquent in more than one of these areas across your entire account, you are likely to have your seller fulfilled listings revoked. And this is just because, again, Amazon wants to be the most customer-centric platform on the planet, right? So they are trying to make sure that their customers have a great, great experience overall. And if you are not meeting these metrics, then Amazon is going to assume that you cannot abide by them. So what's their solution? Hey, you can continue to be a seller, but you have to do it through FBA. Okay. So let's say that you think that this is the case. You've had some issues in the past. You're trying to get through them. You know, you see all of this. What do you actually do from here? So as Amazon states, you can actually go ahead and submit a appeal to reactivate your MFN. But the real thing is, what do you actually need to put into that appeal? So for that appeal, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to list out a few things. First and foremost, you are going to want to find every single instance in recent memory as to what caused any one of these four areas to be under metric. So again, if you have a late shipment rate, if you're consistently shipping late, and you are above 4%, let's say you're at 10%, and 10% of all your orders are shipping late every single month, what do you do, okay? What is the cause here? Do you need to update your handling time? Do you need to update your shipping time? Are you just having an issue with the product? There's a variety of reasons that can really cause this, and the best thing that you can do here is figure it out. Or let's say pre-fulfillment cancel rate. Do you just consistently have the product out of stock and you don't remember and you forget to change the inventory on Amazon? That's also a thing. Valid tracking rate. Are you using actual tracking numbers? Are you trying to skirt around the system by saying, oh yeah, we shipped it 
with a fake tracking number. So all of these things come into play when you are putting together this plan of action and appealing the decision. The big thing that I will always tell people for a plan of action like this, make sure that you one are straight up telling Amazon what the actual issue is. Don't try and you know sugarcoat it or anything like that. Just tell them exactly what happened, the cause behind it, find all the orders that were affected, offer to remedy that issue of the orders. And then on top of that, figure out where you can improve in the future. So if this is truly a shipping issue more than anything, and it's not a product related issue, explain to Amazon whether it's you know a 3PL, whether you're gonna change the 3PL, whether you're going to update your shipping practices, update your shipping and handling templates, any of the above. Putting together this plan of action uh, should help with a reactivation, but is not always going to be a guarantee to get you reactivated for merchant fulfilled. What I would typically suggest people do is they try and do this about once per month for reactivation. So if you have error code 4400 and you have to go to FBA, which it's not necessarily a bad thing to have to go to FBA, but if you do have it and you get this revoked, put together your plan of action once per month, try and go through the ability to reactivate it and see if Amazon will give you the authority. You can also try for different categories and new ASINs as well. I see it very often that they will just restrict all current ASINs but anything new into the category will work as well. So hopefully this explains a little bit more as to why you might be experiencing this, what to do if you are experiencing it. And unfortunately, it's one of those situations, it might just be a waiting game. But more so than that, you can always ship through FBA. And I'm never going to say the FBA is necessarily a bad idea for everyone. So hopefully this helps. And if you like this video, please do a favor and leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.